Hi everyone. So today we'll see how to generate the May 1 Cucumber report for our Cucumber project. So in previous videos uh, we have seen extend report and Cucumber reports, right? So today we'll discuss about this May 1 Cucumber report. Okay. So this is this is a their GitHub page. I mean for Cucumber report plugin. So if you if you scroll down you can see the configuration and what are the dependencies we have to use, right? So this is a reporting plugin guys and we have like a 4 to 5 reporting uh, uh, features are available. So the first one is Maven Cucumber reporting and second one is Cucumber Sandwich and the third one is Cucumber reporting with Jenkins. So from Jenkins also you can generate this report. Right. So dependencies are, uh, these are the two dependencies. Uh, so today we are going to see about this the first one, Maven Cucumber reporting. Okay. So you have to use these two dependencies to your palm.xml to generate the report right so the first one is uh, report plugin and the second one is uh, cucumber reporting because this this right this one right so this is a reporting plugin this is entire code and within that we have four options right so we have to use the two dependencies and we have some setup configuration we have to do right and we have some runner option as well so if you are running from the cli mode like you have to run like this so if you are using the JUnit runner, right? So you can use the simply use the Cucumber options plugin. So this is a line that we have to pass in the Cucumber plugin. I mean Cucumber options plugin in the JUnit runner. So today we will see the both now, right? So these are the configurations. So very directly, I mean very straightforward. You can run this from your JUnit runner class. So if you want to uh, run it from the, your, I mean if you want to set up the plugin from the palm.xml also possible, okay? So we'll see this uh, uh, sample reports along, right? So this is how uh, the configuration, right? So this this is a dependency we already seen, right? Cucumber reporting dependencies we have to update, and and these are the usage. Usage means like uh, you have to set up the some some uh, properties property files, right? So we call as a property file usually. So where the project needs to be, uh, the output directory, where, where the project should be generated and what what is the JSON to be appended, right? So what is the string bill, I mean, bill number and what is the project name, right? So you can append all the things. So what is the platform you are running? What is the browser type, uh, browser version, right? So you can add all the things to your projects to, to make it very, I mean, easy understanding for the end users, like a project name, number, date, so what is the branch, browser, platform, everything. So this is how the report looks like. So we'll generate the same report now with the failure uh, uh, screenshot attached. Okay. So this is a usage uh, that we have to configure in the our JNU Turner class. Okay. So this is done. Okay. So now we'll see. Uh, yeah. So first we'll we'll go with the uh, uh, JNU Turner class. Right. So make sure you have updated the uh, palm dot. Uh, I mean uh, dependencies to your uh, palm dot XML. So these are the two dependencies we have to update. Okay. So come to uh, Cucumber reporting page. Right. So I have copied that simply uh, copied that this JNU Turner class. You can see. So D dot uh, mono chrome ta, uh, Cucumber reporting pretty report this line. Right. So I just simply copied here. Right. And we have seen some properties set up, right? So file output directory, the same I have updated here in the J Newtoner class after after class annotation. Because here I am I'm just tear downing my, my class, I mean my test, and I'm generating the report. Right. So here you can see I'm generating uh, that the output, I mean uh, the report under the target folder, right? So under target uh, within the this Maven Cucumber report folder, I am gen just generating the report right and the report needs uh, some json uh, right so to generate the uh, report so that json file i am storing it here i am just passing here and these are the things are configuration like so what is the bill number and what is the project name and what is the environment right so this is these are very uh, common generic things to append with your uh, pro, i mean your append with your report right so this all setup is done so what i will do now i will simply run this file right so before that you can see there are no uh, maven cucumber report folder in the under target folder right so i will again refresh the screen you can see 
so nothing is found as soon as i run this right so there will be folder generated by the name of uh, maven cucumber report so the execution is started now since i have two feature files so the execution will run for two times You can see now the execution is stopped. I mean, execution is done, right? So I have some assertion failures. That's fine, right? So now I will come to this project folder. So you you can see. So there are no Maven Cucumber uh, uh, folder here. As soon as I refresh the project, right? So you can see this Maven Cucumber report is generated, right? I will go to the directory here. So this is what it's it's created now, right? So if you open this one, you can find the HTML report, Cucumber HTML reports. Inside that, you can open anything. Okay, any any HTML file you can open. So this is how the project looks. I mean, report looks, right? So this is sample test project I have updated in the uh, Eclipse, right? So this is a project file. Pro, I mean, project name I am passing it, and this is a build number zero double one. I am passing it here, right? So that this date will automatically come. And what is the environment is key way I am passing it. What is the browser name I am passing as a Chrome. And what is the OS I am running on Windows 10 I am getting it. Right. So this is how the report looks. You can see. So we have two features. One is failed and one is passed. Right. And you can see the scenarios. One is failed, one is passed. And you can see the step level as well. Right. So the green is passed and yellow, I mean uh, red is failed. And blue is skipped. Right. So I have two feature file. Right, so two feature file, and you can see all the steps and the scenarios as feature as well. Right, so so when you can go to the tags also. So I am using three tags here. One is Bing, one is Search, one is Google. Right, so in the Google, uh, uh, two steps are passed, and one is failing, and one is skipped. Right, so I can go to the step level also. You can see the reports. Right, so these are these are the step uh, getting failed. Right, so so everything is passed. The last two steps are failed actually. So as well as you can go to the trends, you can analyze the trends also. Right, and if you go to the failures, right. So this is where the failures uh, features come. Okay, my Google search feature is getting failed. You can see uh, in the step definition and hooks, right. So hooks, I am starting the browser and hooks, I am closing the browser. So in the steps, uh, what assertion is getting failed. So after this, I'm what I'm doing you now in the in my tear down hooks method, right? I'm just taking the screenshot of it and then I'm just appending to the my report. So this is how you can take the screenshot and append to your report, right? So this is a way of generating report when you use the plugin, right? So if you want to use, I mean, uh, Cucumber plugin, right? So if you want to use the Maven plugin, right? That is also possible. Okay, so for that configurations are given here. Okay, you have to add this plugin to even uh, pom.xml like we run Maven Sharper plugin, right? The same thing. So you have to add this plugin. Okay, so this is a, a Sharper plugin. So following that, you have to add this uh, things. So it's again same, right? So you have to uh, what is the project name? You can you can configure everything here. We can give the project name and where should be the your rep, your report generated. Everything is the same, right? So you can try this one, right? So but even though if you are not doing this, this is a, this is another way. Like you can you can configure everything in the JNU runner and you can run it from the pom.xml. That is also possible, right? So we will we'll see that now. What I will do now, I will go on delete this folder now okay so what i am going to do now the same project i am just uh, going to run from the uh, command line okay as a maven project i am just going to run so what i will do now 
so if if you open my pom.xml right so in the pom.xml in the maven swapper plugin i am just passing this class file right so this is my class file name runner class file name maven cucumber report right so that is what i am passing here so my test will automatically pick this and it will run right so we'll see it now You can see the execution is started, right? So it identifies the class file Maven Cucumber report and the execution is started. And you can see here, uh, so the build is success. So you can scroll up, you can see two scenarios, one is failed and one is passed, right? So now I will again refresh the folder, right? You can see now the Maven Cucumber report is generated, right? The same folder again is generated. So I will come here, I will go again. So now you can see it's, it's created very recently. So if I open this one, again the same report is generated, right? It's a very same report. Again, you can go to the failures. You can see the screenshot is attached, right? So this is my previous report. This is no more, right? This is my new report. You can see the time. This is okay. Okay. The same report just refreshed because since we are referring the same folder, so you can see the time now. The recent time is six one, right? So we we got this report when you run from the uh, form.xml as well, right? So if you don't want to add this plugin here and all the configuration here, right? So you can simply uh, add uh, one more plugin to the, your pom.xml as per this uh, guidance, right? You, you can try with that one, okay? So this is how we generate the Cucumber report. I mean, Maven Cucumber report, right? So the report look like this. Uh, it's very detailed and uh, very detailed and very user friendly report. Right, you can share with anything, anyone. So tag, steps, under trends, failures, everything is available. Okay. So the same report. Uh, so, so we are done with the uh, generating report. The same report you can you can configure in your Jenkins as well, right? So for that they have given some details in some page, right? So if you are using the Jenkins no for Cucumber Maven project. You, I mean, you can you can generate the same in the Jenkins run as well, right? For that, they have given some uh, uh, steps to follow. Like first of all, you have to add the plugin. The plugin name should be uh, JVM, yeah, Cucumber JVM report. Okay. So once you install this plugin and just restart, and you have to pass this command, right? So you have to pass this command to generate the JVM reports, right? So the reports will be automatically placed in your, your uh, folder yeah, then you can see. So this is how, I mean, this is a, one more additional information I just, I just want to pass it, right? The same report you can uh, generate from the Jenkins as well, okay? So that's all, uh, all about uh, generating the uh, Maven Cucumber report. So if you guys have any doubt, please leave in the comment. Thank you guys.